Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel. So recently I've been very obsessed with what's in my bags. And so I wanted to show you what's in my work bag. So this is my work bag. It's an old um, Gucci knapsack that I had to take out of storage because the totes are just hurting my shoulders. So let's go into the front pocket. So in the front pocket, I live in New York City. Um, so my Metro card right here. This is my yearly one. And then this is the one I use for the ex this is what I use for the express bus. So in this, this little coach point purse, kind of quarters. And so you can see where I keep all my change. Um, uh, some spare money, um, a little pick me up, see the beauty and everything, and begin with yourself. So just something motivational. And then these charms that I got from Coach. In this little one, I have all of my little crystals. I carry two on a daily basis. My two crystals right here. And I carry those. Oops. Okay. Also in this pocket is usually I keep my work phone here. I'm filming with my personal phone, but this is my work phone. So this is my work phone. Um, has my work credit card, a couple of my work IDs, and can't show you anything else, but this is my work phone. I keep it here, which I check religiously and can't go anywhere without a few essentials. My Apple pen for my iPad Pro that's in my bag and a really nice marker. I really like this color, royal blue. Um, my mechanical pencil, I can't do the 0.7s, they just irk me. So it's a 0.9 or better. And then of course, my uni ball. So that's for this pocket. Now inside, one of the things I love about it is the flap, obviously, but then it has an extra security because I ride the subway. So there's a lot of stuff in here. So let's get started. So inside of here, this is like everything I keep. So let's get started. It's a lot, it looks like a lot, but I tell you I carry a lot, but it's super duper comfortable. So the first thing I'm going to take out is my makeup bag. And coincidentally, I don't even wear that much makeup. So really and truly what's in there of it I don't even use um, on a regular basis it is of course you know my Don and Karen cashmere mess I definitely love this palette the Too Faced um, this broke but I use this one religiously every day and Fenty lip gloss if I just like need to just zhuzh up the lips a little bit but this one, clearly my Anastasia, it's on its last leg. Don't judge me. I can't find the cap for this part. But I use this religiously to line my brows. Um, this one I got in Charles de Gaulle Airport. Um, recently, my daughter and I just came back from Italy. So we found this um, Rev de Mia. Um, and so we kind of like it. It's Nux. Coach Floral, I don't use this a lot, but if I happen to be going out um, after work, which really hardly ever happens except for work. So pretty much, you know, I try to just do a little spritz. And of course, Japanese Cherry Blossom from Bath and & Body. And um, one of my colleagues gave me this um, sweet grass uh, goat milk hand cream, which, you know, I really, use a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. And of course, you know, a sharpener for your makeup pencil. And this is um, peach, um, minted peach lip pencil. Again, you don't really use it. Um, my MAC lip gloss, uh, my daughter uses this more than I do. And, um, you know, this is probably my fourth or fifth one that she's I'm surprised she hasn't stolen this one. And then Lip Medics, use this religiously every day to make sure my lips are nice and 
And then of course, if I'm going somewhere, this Marc Jacob, just to kind of brighten my face with some lashes. So pretty much that's in the makeup bag. down to now two Ricolas. I, I love my Ziploc bags, so you, you hardly ever see any of my bags without Ziploc bags in them. Um, I'm down to two Ricolas, candy liners, Kleenex, random napkins, and gum, which I buy in quantity at BJ's or Costco's, depending on where I find them cheaper. Moving on. These are my winter shades, and then these are my regular glasses. So these are my regular glasses, they're transition lenses. Um, and then these are my winter shades. Um, these are polarized and prescription uh, Ray-Ban bands. So these are also in my bag. I like this keyboard. I have this keyboard that I keep in my bag because it's a pain to type an email on these devices. Um, so I'm a faster typer than, you know, doing a, the two thumbs method. So I just type it on here. Um, it's Bluetooth connected. So that is, it helps me out a lot. Plus if I have any ideas for um, any of the chapters to my book, I just start typing it on here. I just whip it out really quick. Water, obviously. Um, I've had this bottle for um, many, many months. I just refill it at the cooler at work. And so this is takes it's very long and narrow and just doesn't take up a lot of room like the Poland spring bottle. So I really like this one. Um, of course, you've seen this wallet before. Um, Today, the only thing that's different is I have my Amex card in here, um, which I've been using a lot. So um, I try to only use and keep a two one credit card because at this point, I'm pretty much debt free except for my mortgage. And I try to be very circumspect with how I spend my money. So let me take these out. So. Moving on, I bought this ember a few Black Fridays ago. So this is my ember um, that I take my coffee in. It's pretty cool. You manage it by app. You warm up and um, warm it when it's cold, get cold. So again, it doesn't leak. However, I have another Starbucks um, one that I take sometimes, which does leak. So these coffee stains are actually from my Starbucks. Um, so, but I keep it in here just in case of it, I'm me being paranoid of it leaking and then, you know, damaging all the equipment that I have. It's my iPad, iPad Pro. Um, our school mascot is a tiger, so I found this. Um, actually, um, one of my colleagues gave it to me, so. I have that, and so we just, this is my work iPad, good old trusty iPad Pro. This is a couple of files I bring home. Um, can't show you the, what's inside of them. Um, it's confidential, but this I walk with because sometimes, lo and behold, I do do work at home often. I'm trying to get out of that habit as well, but this, this comes home. Um, a lot of my little technology shishkas, the buses here, um, some of them do have the portals where you can charge. So I tend to walk with some of these chargers. This I got from a training and I thought it was cool because it has like pretty much all of the charging ports that I utilize on a daily basis. This one goes with my keyboard, 
This one's just like, you know, regular ethernet. This one goes with two different Apple devices that I have. So, and it's like, you know, badass bulldogs. I kind of like it. This two different uh, plugs. And this one I got from um, a training and it's just a, oh, needs charging. But you can see it has one of the ports that I, that's on this little guy. And some rubber, and a rubber band, just in case. So again, just like utilizing my little Vera Badly things for charging. Let's see, what else? Um, planner, not gonna get into my planner, but you know, obviously it has two different um, pens and what you can see from the outside. This thing doesn't close this early on in the year. It's January, so it doesn't close at all in January. By March, it should be more manageable. But this time of the year, it's it looks like that. And I have two sets of keys. So this is my house keys, my house key set. Um, my kids are on here. Um, my door entrance, my door, my tile. Um, for some reason, I have a big idea of putting a compass on here just in case I got lost. It's a Dunienberg um, set. And then this is the garage key. And of course, my, my earbuds. And then um, these are like my super style set of keys for work. And over the years, people have come back from trips and just given me their, you know, keychains. So I've just kept them, um, things like that. But all of the keys that opens some part of my job space. And so that's what's in my bag. Totally empty now. So this is a picture of pretty much everything that fits in my bag. And thanks for watching YouTube. See you next time.